welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, and tonight we're going to be doing a highly requested bourbon. We have Jim Beam Devil's Cut Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. I've, I've it been is excited to hear about it. 45% alcohol by volume or 90 proof. Runs about 20 ish bucks a bottle. It does. Uh, 23 for me because I live in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Liquor bargain is about 20. Uh, because, you know, I live down the road from where it's made, it's more expensive. It's a little bit irritating. I have a little bit of uh, uh, anger to resolve about that whole situation, but whatever. Um, so, explain what the Devil's Cut is, Radar. Uh, do you want the short version or the long version? The short uh, version is very simple. What Devil's Cut is, is you take used bourbon barrels uh, for like white label, black label, all, I pretty much, actually all the different barrels they use, what they do is uh, they used to uh, fill them full of water and then agitate the barrel heat them up too. And yeah, you'd heat them up and it would pull all the alcohol and the oils out of the wood. But now what they do, unfortunately, uh, with the barrels they don't sell to like breweries and stuff, they will actually run through a chipper and they will squeeze all the juice out and this is what basically comes out. But there's also a longer version of that which well according is, to uh, what the online description says, it's still saying they're doing it the old way which is Filling it full of water, agitating it, and then heat. That's what the online. That's what the online description says. Ooh. But we know different. Um, Ooh. Well, I went on a on a tour a couple of years ago when we, when some friends came in. They wanted to go, and that's what they were saying then. I don't know if it's the, still the way they do it. They might have gone back to the old way, which would be fine with me. Got some legs in there. It is uh, kind of like a caramel color. It's you know typical bourbon it's, color. It's that color, guys. Ooh, it smells like some hot Jim Beam. Is what it smells like. Also, 90, 90 proof is like 5% higher alcohol than 10, normal. 10, uh, than well, 35%. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. This is, this is 90 proof. What you're usually looking at is 35, 30 proof. But 35%, uh, so 70 proof. Or, yeah, 70 math, proof. Math. Uh, yeah, you gotta be able to learn to uh, multiply by two in this business. Um, so, nose, it's just, Really, it's really hot on the nose, but it's um, it's kind of it's just really woody. It's uh, there's a little bit of sweet like uh, caramel thing going on in there as well. Mm -hmm. I was uh, honestly expecting some more vanilla type notes in this, get, just because it, it's from it's so from the wood. You get it a tiny bit, but it's not as prominent as in typical white label. Hmm. Ah, shut up. That's hot. That is hot. That's a lot woodier it's very, than I thought very it was going woody. to be. Um, I do get vanilla on the back end. It finishes kind of vanilla-y. Uh -huh. uh, but it is very woody up front. I mean, it does make a certain amount of sense that it's this woody. Maybe a tiny bit of molasses in there. Um, yeah. It's not... Oh, that left like a... Like a coating on the inside of my mouth. I'm thinking it might be a little too hot to drink straight. Eh, that's not too bad. Like, you couldn't drink a ton of this straight, but also it's fairly highly alcoholic. I think, uh, in it, like, drinking it like this, I think it's a little hot for this. Could you handle a shot, probably, but I don't know mm. if I can sip on it like this. A little this. bit of water would be all right in it. Or an ice yeah. cube. So, uh, straight, with the price, um, you know, white level is 13 to 14 bucks for a bottle. Yeah, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, mm, I, honestly, I think white label is better than this. Mm, I don't um, this know. Is, if you really like that wood flavor, it's just like super wood. It's like they, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is way, way more. Um, but it is hotter, so you know you're getting a higher ABV too than typical Jim Beam. Bold. I'm gonna go with bold. Um, uh, I'm gonna go and rate this straight. It is a. I'm gonna give it a six and a half. Uh, you know it's good. It's just it's a little hot. It's. I don't. I don't particularly. I don't love it straight. Like I could drink it. I don't love it straight. What about you, Radar? Eh, it is a little bit thick. It coats your mouth straight, which I don't particularly like bourbon to do. I think uh, uh, as a straight drink, I think this is like a six and a half. It's pretty good. It's very hot. It's very hot and it's also pretty oily. It's I've had some other uh, 90 proof bourbons and they haven't been <clears throat> this hot on the on the uh, tongue. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people ask us uh, and they complain. They're like, "Whoa, why do you why do you always mix at the end there?" Well, because 
while a lot of people like to drink the bourbon, me and you included straight, um, a lot of people out there do mix the bourbon. So mm-hmm. to appeal to everybody, that's why we try it straight and rate it, and then we try it mixed, regardless of you know what our preference is, because it's a show for people to look for a review and we want to have an honest opinion. So if people wonder why we mix it, um, it's for to appeal to everybody, and we use Coke because it's the most common thing. I uh, got it off the airplane. I honestly mix it because uh, means I get more bourbon. Uh, you pour a bigger drink for yourself to uh, to review twice than you do to review once, and um, I'm reviewing this so twice. So we did about uh, one to three on that ratio, uh, three part bourbon, three parts Coke. This is a very fairly hot bourbon, so I'm thinking it's probably going to go pretty well with Coke. That is all right with, with Coke. Yeah, I like that with Coke. Still has a little bit of that carbonation. The woodiness comes through <clears> with the Coke, which it tones down that hotness, and it's um, I think that's a lot better. You know, normally I don't say this, mm-hmm. but I think this might be a bourbon that I'll keep chilled. Not like frozen, but in the refrigerator for sure. Um, and yeah. maybe I'll also keep like some water with it because I'm not sure how it'll do once it's chilled. A lot of bourbons lose a lot of that uh, that like super oily craziness and uh, and flavor when they're chilled, but uh, a little bit of water wouldn't go amiss in this. Uh, interesting though, on the nose, it's even more woody now if you smell it. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, before you almost couldn't smell as much wood as there is I in mean, this. Yeah, you could you could get a little bit of woodiness, but this now is it's uh, tasting like I cut up wood chips and put it in a coke. Like, <laughs> um, it's it's good though. It, it's it a is. it's a wood chip coke. Yeah, um, as a mixer, it's a seven. I think it's it's better as a mixer. Uh, it's not substantially better, but it is better. So if you have a bottle mm. of this, I would. I would recommend uh, mixing it with Coke or ginger ale, whatever you're into, um, or mixing whiskey sours. It's strong enough to make a decent whiskey, whiskey uh, sour with it. As a mixer, I think I'm going to go with a seven and a half. Uh, but I really think that it's got some promise. As just, just, I really do think I'm going to say this over and over again. But I really do think it's got some promise as just a touch of water type bourbon. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's that's. What I'm gonna suggest you try mixing it with, but if you have a whole bottle of it, you can try mixing it with a lot of different things. All right, well, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.